What's going on, Katana fans? Uh, this is Katana Fanboy coming at you with another uh, do-it-yourself fix, as I promised um, in my other videos. I recently did one um, in regarding Saya rattling and how to fix that. Relatively very simple, um, and what this uh, process was passed on to me was a vendor that's, that sold katanas and swords that they use and you know thinking about it if someone learned that they had to learn somewhere and possibly even the manufacturers are doing this in some of your katanas and you know who is able to really see at the bottom of your saya I don't really know it's really even I try to do it and you really can't because of the curve but anyway what I'm going to help you guys with this one let me put this raptor side. I'll do a video on that one, uh, as there's a series of those. What I'm going to talk about is the world of Tsubas. And I'm going to show you one here that I actually was a Wally Tsuba that rattles, and it's annoying. It really is, you know, it's like a clunker, you have this nice katana, and you maybe put, you know, put you, your hard working money and buying this, and you, you know, you're moving it, and you're showing your friends, and it's like, ting -a -ting -a -ting -a -ting. it sounds like a, a rocks and a bunch of can or something like that, and they're like, Ew, you know, that sounds like garbage, but anyway, you shouldn't have to put up with that, and uh, you shouldn't have to send your, your katana out to be prepared, because these processes uh, are becoming more public, and, uh, as a katana owner um, or collector, you want your stuff to be at top conditional, uh, what have you, <laughs> with a brain fart here, but um, it happens. Um, so anyways, loose to subas. Uh, one way, short term fix, for me, would be using an extra sip up. Uh, I don't like it because it gives us like, you could very clearly see when you look at it, uh, there's two on there. If you show your katana to someone that's not really familiar with the katanas, you may pass it off and they may not notice it, but if you show it to a friend that does have katanas, they're gonna, they're gonna easily see that, that, hey, why do you got two uh, sepas on there for? So, uh, well, it rattles, you know, and that doesn't really give up good view of your maybe your favorite katana that you have so here's a a long-term fix how to do it basically you could see here on one of the ones I did it on and you could see like it's indented here indented here it's indented here and it's indented here and why is it because well I like to use allen wrenches because they come in different sizes. And, and what you do is you take the saya, uh, you put it on a very hard surface. I wouldn't re uh, recommend you uh, like a uh, dining room table or anything like that, or hardwood floor, because you would damage it. Something like, say, concrete or something sturdy or a workbench. And you would put like a towel underneath it in case, you know, you really have a uh, hand-carved uh, tasuba that you don't want to mar up. Um, here, in it, here, you know, even, you know, fancy tasubas, you will find these here because that's what they do to repair them for a saya. Um, or they add uh, filaments here, um, soldering. And stuff like that to make it a tight fit you could also do that but for a quick fix is basically once you have it laying down you get this right where this edge is meeting the edge of where the blade will sit on not hanging over this and that's important not to have it in the middle or hanging off but right edge on edge because if you pound on it, what it's going to do is going to slide off and you're going to scrape, you know, the metal that's supposed to be pushing out and you, you're going to undo the process, basically. So you get it right on the edge on edge and you take your hammer 
and you pound very hard for a few times, take it up, look at it, see if it's what you're doing when you're pounding on a hammer in this, you're dispersing the metal to push out. And it's going to push out one direction and it's going to push out on the other direction where your uh, katana blade will go through, which is going to cause it to be more narrow than wider and loose. And you want to do it on both sides because you want to have it geometrically uh, same on both sides. So you keep pounding on it, look at it, see if it's, you don't need much. You just, you know, you could see where you see it's coming over, you know, and you do that on both sides. And you'll, when you have it right, you'll notice when you slide on your Tsuba, you'll feel it snug. Like, you know, before you even get uh, to your step up to line up and everything like that, you'll notice it's a lot more tight. Um, and once you have it on there, that's pretty much a sign that you got it right on the money and you'll notice that no more wiggling uh, and that should hold up with you know uh, hard cutting too you know so that's what I do um, learned it from others that also uh, swear by it um, that they do it stays works long-term fix Easy process, easy done. Uh, as I promised, I'm gonna do another video uh, here shortly uh, on Koiguchis and Koiguchis that do not grab onto the mount. Uh, when your blade is falling out when you do this. Which it shouldn't, and very unsafe. So, that will be my next educational video, and I'm going to do another review, probably on the Hanway Raptors. Uh, suggestions for beginners, uh, and uh, even, uh, you know, practitioners and, and uh, long-term collectors. Uh, as, as I promised, I want to educate you guys the reason of having this channel. Um, is to pass on knowledge to each other. We all work hard for our money. I don't want you. I don't want to be biased in the videos. I want you to get. You know, if I, I give you a review on a katana, I want to be honest with you about it. Um, any issues and stuff like that that I've seen. And also, I want to educate you on fixes. You know, uh, sending your katana out. You know, a katana, a katana will age, especially if you use it a lot. Your tsuba will come loose. Your with impacts. Your uh, your wrapping will come loose and stuff like that. Um, and after a while, if people had the money, they sent it out to be all redone and they pay a fortune for what these people are basically doing simply um, something similar to that and you're paying a lot. So what I'm trying to do is, hey, don't waste your money. You could do this at home. Let me give you some insight and knowledge how to do that. And um, had something that you could show your friends that uh, it's not going to rattle like uh, a couple of rocks in a can or something like that. Um, leave a comment if you have a question. Um, even if you know something more that I may miss, you know, if you have something, that's the whole point. I, I'd like uh, as a community to educate uh, everyone and I'll pass on to knowledge. You never have enough to where you could say that I... I've learned enough. Um, there's no such thing. Uh, I've, I've taught myself how to lacquer the sayas. I taught myself how to wrap. Uh, painful process, but you could do it after a while. It just takes practice. Um, and fixes um, of uh, common issues with katanas that prevalently happen when you use them a lot too. Or they come like that sometimes. And you, you know. Maybe the unlucky ones to get one, something like that. And you could say, hey, no problem. Let me fix this real quick. One, two, three minutes and boom, slap together. And it's it's ready to go. It's perfect. Um, please, again, hit the subscribe button because I got more videos that you might be interested. Uh, a lot more katanas that I have on hand that I want to give you a view, a show and tell. And tell you what I think about it. 
uh, from large companies to smaller companies. Note, small, smaller companies are probably the best way to go. Um, I talk about that a lot in my videos because you, you get a lower price sometimes from smaller companies. Uh, uh, and a lot of times you're paying for the name and the process and you can get something that has horn and all that and it's it's tempered and, and uh, what have you a uh, really good product for lower prices um, but anyway I'm straying as I usually do hit the subscribe button and I will see you guys later and uh, have another video up posted here shortly hope you enjoyed the video I'll see you guys later